Good afternoon, it's uh, Jake Burkett with Real Brokerage in whatever time of day. Yeah, thanks so much for watching, supporting our channel. Have another great home tour for you behind me. It's this great house right here, single story, four bedrooms, every bedroom's an ensuite. It's got an awesome casita, RV parking, etc. But uh, let's go take a look. Here we go. All right, so home built in 2020, so it's just a couple of years old. I mentioned it's a single story house. 3,705 square feet. Now it does, that casita, that guest house over there, the detached one, is approximately 800 square feet. So that pushes the total square footage up to this house. Uh, pretty big, pretty big home there. What is that? I don't wanna do public math. So 4,605 square feet. We are on a corner street of a house, but it's a residential road. It's not a major thoroughfare. Three car garage, it does have RV parking right there on the side, it's got a nice gate. And it's just a little four home cul-de-sac community. So just kind of showing you the homes in here. So they all have RV parking, they all have detached uh, guest homes. And um, yeah, let's go take a look, shall we? If this is your first time joining our channel, appreciate you, thanks so much for the support. Feel free to like, subscribe, call me if you have any questions about buying or selling resale homes in Las Vegas, new construction homes in Las Vegas, or land. That's what we do. Okay, coming into the house. Let me turn this up. So real high ceilings here, uh, 14, 13 foot, really big. We do have porcelain tiles down here on the ground. I'm just going to shut the door behind me. And we're gonna look at all the secondary bedrooms, primary, then we're gonna go out in the backyard and save that. It's a great guest house, we're gonna save it for last. So as you come into the home, we have two bedrooms right here off to my left. Nice size rooms, nice high ceilings, eight foot doors, 10 foot ceilings. Every room has a walk-in closet. I'm a big fan of windows and closets. I'm a big fan of natural light, so I like that. Here's our bathroom for this one. We just kind of go up and down there. Got a shower tub behind this. It's gonna be the same in all of the Tucker and ones, so we'll just show you that one. And we got a nice high window there too. Kind of pan back around, get you the rest of this bedroom. Now, much to your surprise, this secondary bedroom right here is very similar. We're just gonna pop straight into the bathroom, just give you a quick peek of it. So neat feature, I'm pretty sure I stated it, but I don't think it can be overstated. So every single home or every single room in this house has a walk-in closet, nice size walk-in closets too, especially for a secondary bedroom. And they all have their own private bathroom. So. If you got a family that likes privacy, you're gonna get a lot of it in this house. All right, so this is gonna take us to the main body of the house. Really, really wide. I call it a hallway, whatever you want. And then we're gonna come down this hallway, which is much more traditional. And we're gonna check out these bedrooms and see what all there is to offer here. So, another bedroom right here, decent size. Plenty of natural light. Here we have our closet. And then we have the bathroom. So pretty much all the same materials, same countertops, same shaker style cabinets. You can see in all the bedrooms. And I gotta tell you, I love this time of year here in Las Vegas. Beautiful weather. Like light sweater weather. Nice size laundry room, right? You've got your Hookups for your washer and dryer right there, gas, water. And then if you wanted to put a sink in here, this is what this, where you got a hot and cold and you got a drain. So you could easily put a washer and dryer sink in there, whatever you wanted to do. Do have a little half bath right here. So it's just off uh, to the side of the garage entrance, which we're about to go out. Just kind of give you an idea of what it looks like right here. We do have a Additional storage right here. So if you're coming in the coat closet or whatever you want. Now we do have a split 2-1 car garage. However, 
they are connected. So I'm in the two. You can see there's overhead storage. Over here we have a, a water system, a water softener system, tankless hot water heater. So it's got a recirculation pump on it. And that's what that looks like. There's your overhead. Now the single car, you do have access right from here. So what's nice is you actually gain garage space. So instead of just there being a wall right where this line in the concrete is, which would be a normal single car garage, you have all this additional space that opens up. That whole little cubby right there. And then you just have nice access right through the other garage. All right, let's get back inside the home. Oh, you know what? I'm not sure I mentioned the price earlier. So this house is listed for a million five hundred and forty nine thousand dollars. So it's a lot of money. You do get a lot of house. So coming into the great room, it's exactly what we have right here. We have this huge room. Got a gas fireplace over here. TV mounted above it. Got some reclaimed looking wood over there. Got a couple of nice windows. You got a little sliding glass door there. Now those blinds are electric, so they're pretty cool. You just turn the, uh, the little handle there left or right and they go up and down for you. And here's our kitchen. Nice big center island. Kind of check this thing out. Here, let me back up. So you can see the front entryway to the house as it comes in. And now there's also this one other room. Sorry, I'm gonna get right to the kitchen. So you could enclose this, you know, you could leave it open, make it an office, make it a gym. Wouldn't be that bad to enclose it. Some drywall and some doors. You can do whatever you want with it. So make another bedroom if you need it. All right, back to the kitchen. Got a nice big pantry. Real nice size pantry. You got Whirlpool appliances. You got your microwave. Got one oven right here. So microwave, oven. And we have our cooktop with a second oven right there. Traditional hood, cabinets, dishwasher. Now what this house does have that I would say a lot of homes don't have is this thing has a massive, massive, massive fridge. So huge normal fridge side. And then we have a huge freezer side. So if you want a big, massive built-in fridge, this house has got it for you. All right, so we're back. We're back on track with the house. And let's go take a look at the primary bedroom. Then we'll go out in the backyard and check out that guest quarters. The only thing I would change in this house, it has soft white bulbs. I would just like it a little bit brighter. Nothing on the house. That's just the bulb you got to screw in, pop on a ladder. You could probably change out this whole house in five minutes. All right, primary bedroom, lots of natural light coming into here. You've got a little nook over here. And then here's the bathroom. So we're gonna hop on in, take a look. Nice bathroom, really spacious. Nice layout in it. You got, you know, obviously you can see there's a sink. It's got a nice big walk-in shower. So sometimes you find small showers in homes, but this is a nice big one. So it's good inside. It's probably way too zoomed in. You got a nice little step over there, some little shelving area. Got a nice looking freestanding soaking tub. Now that window goes into your backyard, not your neighbors. So, and then there is the second sink area. Really big walk-in closet. So, I mean, this is big. You got all of this space right there. There's the door. And then I'll turn around, try to go slowly so don't get anyone dizzy. And then you have all of this on that side and we have a window. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the backyard. And again, if this is your first time watching our channel, thanks again so much. Do these video home tours just to give you an idea of what 
the greater Las Vegas Valley has to offer. And even if you see a home and that home is sold, well, there's other homes just like that home in that same area or in other parts of town too. So that's what we help people do, buy and sell homes. All right, backyard, got a nice big covered patio right here. And you can see there's some turf, paper stone uh, patio, come over to the side of the house. Nice big, big wide side yard. I don't know if you can see it, but so we're out here at Mountain's Edge. So you've got, I'm not gonna call them mountains, but you have this nice, we're, we're right up against the side of the hills over here. So it's pretty nice, quiet area. And no, we're not, when people look at Las Vegas, do some research, they do know that there is a flight path that comes in from the southern part of town. It comes more over southern highlands, just on the east side of I-15, kind of follows up I-15. We're probably, gosh, I don't know, eight miles west of that. So, and we come over here and we're gonna look at this RV area, RV parking, boat parking, whatever you wanna do. So this is on the inside of it. It's just dirt, but it's a big area. We'll kind of pan back to this backyard. So there is plenty of room to put a swimming pool in this house. So a couple different areas you could do it. You could easily do it right over here. Remove some of this uh, desert landscaping. You got a big area. Maintain this walkway, no problem still. And then here's this 800 square feet detached guest quarters. Casita. And you have some additional side yard over here. All right, so here's why this is cool. This is a two bedroom, living room, and a small kitchen area. So two bedrooms, two separate bedrooms, right? So this is the living room area, right? You could easily have a couch in here or make this more of a dining area, whatever you want to do. A couple chairs, a little dining table, bedroom. And if you had friends living with you, you could rent this out even. If you wanted to, you could rent this out. Rent it out to two people. Two bedrooms, they know each other. Shared living space, no problem. Here is the little kitchen area. So it's not much, you got a sink, you could throw a microwave, probably a little countertop, uh, uh, geez, toaster oven. And what's nice is the bathroom is not in either one of the bedrooms. So limited on space, but you do have a full walk-in shower, toilet sink, and get ready area. So you can be in your bedroom, the other person can be in their bedroom, and the bathroom is free game. Just kind of slowly come around here. So there's the bathroom, living room, there's the other bedroom, and here is the final bedroom. So you got a walk-in closet in this one. The other one had a little pocket slider. So that's a pretty pretty cool casita. And you notice we got eight foot doors in here, 10 foot ceilings as well. So neat casita, southwest part of town. Thanks again for watching. If you have any questions about this house, go ahead and get in touch with me. It's all my information. I'm gonna be the one answering the phone, returning your text. Love to help you buy or sell a house here in Las Vegas or land, new construction, resale homes. We do it all. Thanks so much. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day.